give a fuck you laugh or not, nigga. This shit is funny. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. I'm gonna tell you something straight off the motherfucking press. I ain't coming for no foolishness. Katrina, nigga, I'm serious. I bought a house, paid $200,000 for it. Now the motherfucker only worth 100000 But I owe 400000 I'm upside down in my motherfucking house. I'm like, God damn, I called the bank and like, nigga, when is the last payment on this one? The nigga said 2050. I'm like, nigga, do you know I'm 45? I'm not gonna own this motherfucker. You might as well come get this bitch. <laughs> I done refinanced my house so many times, nigga, I don't even own the gate. <laughs> People are like, let's go inside. Hey, nigga, this shit don't belong to me, nigga. This belong to some nigga named Mr. Lean. And it is. <laughs> this motherfucker is gone. These ain't jokes. I thought growing up broke was bad. Broke ain't shit. I pray for broke. Broke just mean you ain't got no money. I can deal with that shit. But this new shit called debt? You can't kill this bitch. This, bitch. this hoe is like Jason. I don't give a fuck how many extra hours. What you do? This bitch keep living. This bitch is a real horror story. <laughs> but I love him to death. Because she gave me my daughter, you know, gave me my son and gave me my daughter. And if men had to have kids, it'd be like three people in the world. <laughs> That's the closest thing a woman could do. <laughs> but hey, man, I'm going to tell you, any minute you're thinking about being in that room, think about it, because it tests your manhood and your relationship with your woman. Because she'd be laying in that delivery room, not looking all that good and shit. <laughs> Every two hours, there's a new dude walking in there. He say he a doctor. <laughs> Motherfucker ain't never showed me no diploma. I got a white jacket, nigga. <laughs> he walk in that motherfucker, don't even speak to you. Your wife's legs all open, he putting his hand, let me see if she ready yet. <laughs> no, nah, she ain't ready yet. This motherfucker ain't ready yet. And walk back out. <laughs> Two hours later, it's a new dude walking in. At least he speak, how you doing? Can you slide down a little bit? Nah, she ain't ready yet. Hell nah, this motherfucker ain't ready yet. And walk back out. Third doctor walked in there, I just stopped him. Hold up, this is my pussy, what we looking for? Cause all y'all just ain't gonna stick your hands all up in this bitch thing. I'm taking back home, there's some bullshit going on up in here. And you tell that doctor with that big ass thumb, don't bring his ass in here no more. His thumb bigger than my dick. He gonna fuck my relationship up. I done lost my woman in the hospital. What kind of shit is this? This nigga done broke up a happy phone. Big knuckle bastard. I was gonna whoop the doctor ass. I followed him to room to room. He was doing the same thing. That's when I knew it wasn't personal. As Soon as he got off for work, I pulled him to the side. How you get this gig? Sign a nigga up. <laughs> Feeling on pussy, this a career change. <laughs> if I was an OBGYN, I'd never take a lunch break. <laughs> Put my sandwich on the table, next! <laughs> Doctor, you've been here for eight weeks without a break. I don't need a break. <laughs> Just hold my eye open, I can see four more, next! <laughs> then six weeks later, you can make love to your woman again. Fucks your love life all up. She be in the bed hollering, ooh, ooh, stop lying. I just seen eight pounds come out that motherfucker. Ooh, ooh to you too. You ain't got to lie to me. I'm going to pay the rent. I don't need to hear all that shit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Just seen a sack of potatoes come out that motherfucker. Now the link sausage got you paralyzed. Fuck you. Ooh, ooh to you too. Ooh, 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 ooh. You ain't got to lie to me. I love you. You ain't got to lie to me. Black people don't start working when they first get to their goddamn job. Take us time, we gotta find out what the fuck going on. But I like working for white people because they take excuses. I don't feel good today, stay home, stay home. When you work for a nigga, ain't excuse good enough. My father died, mine did too, nigga. What time are you coming in? I'll let you go to the funeral, I need you this Thursday. He didn't love your ass anyway. Why are you going to the funeral? 
Best job I ever had was working in the cleaners. That was a good ass job. I cried like a bitch when they fired me. They fired me for weighing other people's shit. I be at the club, women like Earthquake always got something new on. I never see that nigga wearing the same outfit. Sometimes he changed clothes at the club. My boy like, let me wear that shirt. I say, I would, dog, but he come to pick it up tomorrow. Got to keep it. I'm gonna tell you who you don't want to work with. Mexicans. They make a nigga look bad at the job. They don't take no breaks or nothing. They work eight hours straight. Skip lunch and everything. I fucked around and worked with some Mexicans putting roofs up. They can put a roof up in 30 minutes. I had to get on a ladder, on the ladder, take a break, nigga. We got eight hours. What you rushing for? They just gonna give us another roof. They let my black ass go, got another Mexican. I just got married, you gotta get married. Marriage is rough, but take your time. Yeah, marriage is like having cable with just one channel. Same shit come on every day. Like, damn, bitch, I love you, but I wanna see another movie. You gotta hang around other married people too. I hang around my boy, he been married for six years. The nigga videotaped his wedding day, never watched it. Now and every day he watch it every day, but he watch it in reverse. Cause he said he loves seeing himself take that ring back off of that bitch finger. Walking back down that aisle, just waving at her ugly ass mother down the church. Getting back in the limo, back at the bachelor party. Look how happy I was. I ain't smiled like this since I married that bitch. I wasn't gonna get married because I got scared. I wasn't scared of the commitment, but if you're a true man, you gotta take the temperature and see what's going on in the world. And you, I got scared because of Michael Jordan, that's my dog. And when I found out he was having problems with his bitch, I said, a brother with 400 million can't keep a bitch. A brother with $100 ain't got a shot. What do these bitches really want from a nigga? Somebody let me know. I mean, how you get mad at a nigga with 400 million? You supposed to be the happiest bitch in the whole state. You supposed to come home every day just smiling like the Joker. <laughs> but somebody must have talked to her ass because she took her ass back home. I mean, some women must have got in her ear like, bitch, you tripping. You must not have been out here lately. The pickings are slim. You lucky if a brother buy your ass a drink. You better take your ass back on that hill. Personally, I think she went out and tested the market and found what true players know. Ain't nobody fuck with her after she been with Michael Jordan. I mean, where you gonna take a woman that had 400 million at her disposal? How you gonna impress that bitch? You gonna have to take her to the moon or somewhere. You go over that big ass house, you like, well, I can help with the electric in this motherfucker. I make $300, just use it where you can. And then she got two kids. How you gonna discipline them? You they stepfather now. They ain't gonna listen to your ass. Y'all need to come in the house. Fuck you, nigga. This all our daddy shit. And how you gonna say you better than they father? You wearing this nigga tennis shoes. <laughs> it's good to be here in Vegas. I'm kicking with y'all. Y'all finally got OJ. Yeah, they lock OJ up. Yeah, they got OJ. I knew he, OJ was going to jail because he went to court talking to the judge talking about, oh, my fault, Your Honor. I thought what happened in Vegas stayed in Vegas. <laughs> That's a commercial. <laughs> I knew what Owen Thaw was crazy when he wrote the book, If I Killed My Wife. <laughs> if? Man, you left blood over my house. All the evidence you left. OJ is the only man to beat DNA. Ever. If Law and Order had that case, they wouldn't even need a whole hour to convict him. <laughs> Just one do do. <laughs> the next do do, his ass is in jail. We found a bloody glove do do. <laughs> this ain't, I'm serious. OJ is the only man that was locked up. He, 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 he good now. Because OJ, I'm serious, he had to leave LA. Because when OJ go out to eat at a restaurant, they don't even put a knife on his table. <laughs> like, nah, we'll cut your food for you. His food come out the kitchen like he three years old. Be all his squares. I seen him eating a steak with a spoon. And he was arguing with the waiter. Where my knife at? They say, not give you knife. Your picture in kitchen.
cheat on no black woman, but you gotta prove, woo. Black woman got proof you've been cheating on her, leave her ass that day. Cause if she bring you back, she's just gonna punish you. Black women know how to hit your soul. They do some dirty stuff like cook for just them and the kids. You go downstairs, look in the pot, ain't nothing in there. You eating all out your son's plate. She gonna come out the kitchen, I ain't know you was home. Bitch, you knew I was home. I just seen your ass in the bathroom. How you gonna cook one egg, you dirty mother? You's a dirty mother. Why you take me back if you gonna keep on punishing me? That's a dirty mother. Cheat on her with a white woman. I tried to get me a white woman, but o OJ fucked it up for every nigga. He said, in a racial dating back a hundred years. I be trying to pick up white women. I don't know how to work on them. I gotta work on my approach. Yeah, they don't mess with brothers like me. It's a black rumor, you know, you know, once you become a successful black man, you can get a white woman. Somebody must got mine. I be trying to get them. I like, how you doing, white woman? She just grabbed her purse and ran down the street. So that's racism, Becky. Maybe I'm dirty. Cause times are getting hard out here, I don't care who you are. I got some bad news the other day. My mother says she wanna live with me. I put her in one of them homes, she keep catching the cab over my house. I gotta get a restrainer on on this one. She be coming by without calling me. She don't know me like that. My mother had a stroke so she can't take heat, so I try to keep the heat real high in my career. I got a picture of the sun and everything. She don't be, she just be gnawing. I'm like, this motherfucker's a soldier. It's 800 degrees in here. She's holding on, she body, body. I told my mother she gonna live with me. She gotta live by my goddamn rules. Them rules make me run away from home. I wanted the same effect. So as soon as she opened that refrigerator, I like, close that goddamn refrigerator. <laughs> same thing in the last time you looked in it. She go outside, make up your mind, mama, inside, outside. You can't keep running in and out of my house, mama. You letting cool air in here. And who is this nigga keep calling you late at night? <laughs>